What in the world is that? We're doing it. Woo! Fishing. We're magnet fishing. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It's Adventurous Emmy. I have some interesting news to say. This is gonna be our last video in Arkansas for a little bit. Tomorrow we're heading to a new magnet fishing location. I can't say it now, but in our next video, y'all know, you'll know where we are. So it's super exciting, I'm excited. One reason we're moving locations is because it's cold, we got snow yesterday and it's kind of crazy that we're actually moving we've had such a good run here we've found so many things we've gotten about 13,000 pounds of metal out of the water and we will for sure be back just when it gets warm again we'll come back so another thing is not only do i get to have gloves today i have a new pair of bibs so y'all get to see me wear those and put those on so that's super exciting we're at a bridge where we have found some solid things i'm super excited to fish it one last time before we go where it's warmer. So I'm gonna go grab my magnet, put some gloves on, and put on the bibs. Watch me fall over. Do you like my frog socks? We're doing it. Let's go magnet fishing. Alrighty, so we're walking up on the bridge. We got our bucket, we got our magnet. There was a little bit of difficulty. I had to sit there for like 10 minutes untangling my magnet. If anyone knows the pain of untangling two different ropes or wires, it is annoying. It's not the lowest we have seen it, but it's not the highest we've seen it. So it's kind of this weird middle. We're gonna set up shop right next to Bryce. Ooh, look at that throw. Let's take our first throw. I feel a click right there. Oh, we got something on our first throw. We gotta go slow, let's pull it up. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's first check out this thing. Let's first check out this. So it looks like it's a little stake or a solid piece of metal, but there's rope all tied to it. That is so weird. Maybe they were fishing for something and they had a string or this was supposed to keep something in the water down and sunken but that's weird but hey first find along with that string on a piece of metal we also found the this looks like a piece of cornflake but this is not a cornflake this looks like it looks like it was a vent so it could be a vent to like an ac or a heater or or maybe it's a filter to something because let's check out the other side yeah it might be a filter because the other side's blank so maybe it's a filter to something I'm not too sure but it gets to go in the bucket Wow, we just got some cornflake right there. Why'd you just throw this donut at me? Oh, I'm supposed to put this donut in the, in the bucket. But first, it might be the first magnet fishing ring for the day. Magnet fishing fashion, y'all. Ooh, it fits with the gloves on. Gotta love that. Swing, magnet swing. Woo. Oh, that's a big click right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, come up, break the surface of the water. Ooh, what in the world is that? Barely on my magnet, we almost lost it. Oh, oh my gosh, I was very scared. We're gonna lose it earlier. This is a bunch of things, look at that. Alrighty, so here's the first thing off the magnet. It looks like honestly just a support piece of metal to maybe a bridge or something. It looks like a piece of something bigger or like maybe a stake. This does look similar to this piece of metal we found on our first throw that has string tied to it, but I'm not too sure. If y'all know, drop it down in the comments, let me know. I think it's going in the bucket. Another thing we found was this blade looking piece of metal. It's pretty sharp, gets good in the bucket. We also found this little donut ring looking thing. So we got our second magnet fishing fashion item of the day. We got a second ring. This one's a little bigger. Definitely not a bracelet, could be a ring. That's really cool. Awesome, let's put it in the bucket. I gotta say that throw was definitely loaded because we even got this with all the other stuff. Um, No idea what it is because this part is like this part, but it's flip. Could be like a mini barbell right there, a mini weight, like a one pounder. They're usually like bright pink or purple, but I'm not sure. Let me know. Drop it down in the comments. It gets to go in the bucket. Let's take another throw. Ooh, feels like we got a click. Ooh, that is a big click right there. Ooh, Ooh what in the world? Oh boy. Ooh, y'all see it? Holy cow. Alrighty, so Bryce just got this off her magnet because it is very 
thick, heavy piece of metal. And so it's a blade, and then it looks like it's a hammer mallet thing on this end, and there's, there's a hole. So we've come to the conclusion that it's a wedge for splitting wood. I've not split a lot of logs in my life, so I'm not really familiar with it. I have seen one of them in person, but I've never seen one so dirty and without the handle because with the hole, the handle would go here. And I think that's how it'd work, but I also thought it could be like an ax blade or something where like you have a hammer on this side, kind of mallet, and then you have a blade. But y'all experts, let me know. This is actually honestly really cool. I think my brother would really enjoy this find, but yeah. Alrighty, so let's take another throw. something we got something oh what in the world is that oh gosh it's barely on oh it's barely on oh my gosh oh my gosh oh okay first of all this is a piece of tire tread not magnetic at all but i'm pretty sure it was stuck on two pieces of metal like that with my magnet but hey it's good getting this out of the water whenever one of these tires busts off a um a, tra a tractor trailer we usually call it an interstate gator but what do y'all call it kind of looks like a gator tail honestly but our gator tail tire gets to go into the the bucket already let's check out what else we found so we just also with our gator ta gator tail tire um we got this plug mount looks like it's a um from this side it looks like it's an electrical switch that would mount on a wall like this and then it's like switches and knobs and something like an electrical box or something that would control something that's pretty cool it gets to go in our bucket and then we got this. It could be two things. It could be a lawnmower blade, which honestly, now that I say it, it really does look like a lawnmower blade. But this cut and that cut, I don't think, I've always seen one that are like rounded out. So unless it's eroded, but it has a matching cut that way. Or it could be like the, not the blade, but part of a chainsaw. So either it's a lawnmower blade or part of a chainsaw blade. I put the sharp part on. All the blade experts, let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Take another throw. Woo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, feels like a click right there. Oh my gosh. Ooh, feels like something really heavy. Oh my gosh. I think so. It's like really, really oh, yeah. heavy. All right, go slow. You got it. Yeah, Woo! there you go. Jeez, oh my gosh. Right. Check this out. We got a, another lawnmower blade. This is lawnmower blade number two. Boom, it gets to go in the bucket. Oh, man, what are you doing? Big deer. Right here. We got a frame. It could be a frame to something. I really don't know, but drop it down in comments. Let me know. Fishing. We're magnet fishing. Cape the ice. Yeah, found some um, lawnmower blades and some other stuff. Oh, oh, he seems cool. really nice. He's like just probably wow, curious what, what we're doing. Here? And honestly, if oh, I drove past and I didn't know what we're doing, I'd be interested. I'd be like, what in the world? Take another throw. Oh my gosh. We got a scrappy pine going on, except we got this interesting little thing right here. It looks like a little button of sorts, but if y'all know what that is, let me know. It looks like one of those, a miniature game stick you would have when you play on a TV that's like 20 years old, but it's so tiny it couldn't be that, but it kind of looks like that. This is just so cool. I'm gonna put it in the bucket now. Ooh. Got something. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Oh, we got a scrappy pine. Look at that. We got, oh gosh, that just broke in my hand. What in the world? We got this bracket looking thing. Looks because it just broke in my hand. It's been in the water for a hot minute. You get to find your final resting place in the bucket. We got, looks like some type of a blade of sorts and it's white. It's to go in the bucket. And then we got a nail. Pretty cool. What do we got here? What are we working with? Ooh, there's a click out there. I mean, there's so much stuff in the water. My magnet clicks on, and then hits something and clicks on something else. Ooh, we got something. What in the world? We got it off our magnet. It might be maybe like a bell or a spinning reel. Is this a fishing reel, Bryce? It's not a fishing reel. Scratch that. It's not a fishing reel. If y'all know, drop it down in comments. Let me know. It might be a valve or something because this looks like you twist it and it opens stuff. I'm not sure, but it gets to go in the bucket. Lost it. No. Oh. And this is Ooh. Ooh, hot dog. Ooh. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Alrighty, look at that. We got a pretty good looking nail. 
And then we got this. Kind of looks like a small shoehorn that you put on your heel and you slip your foot in and out of the shoe. But and then you know, like in an orchestra, the conductor has a stick. It could be the conducting stick. I don't know. But this gets to go in the bucket. Woo! Oh yeah! I feel some weight on the magnet. Oh my goodness! What the heck? It's like a whole lot of lids or something. That's so random. Well, we got four of them. Whoa! They kind of look like tags to stuff. Not too sure. Or cane lids. <laughs> the yellow ones kind of look like pieces of squash. That's really funny. Okay, in the bucket. Let's take another throw. Woo! Oh yeah. I got a piece of a gun! I got a piece of a gun! Really? It's Holy crap! It's Come here! Let's go! We got half of a gun. Oh man, where's the rest of it? We got something, y'all. What in the world? Oh! I think it's a chain. A part of chain that's all like rusted together. There's a link. There's a link right there. So it must be like maybe like six inches of chain. A really big chain, but it's all rusted together in the water. So we got a nugget of some chain. Pretty cool. Let's put it oh, in our bucket. Here comes the forerunner and the trailer. Let's go. Everything that we just found today is in our trailer. Check it out. Maybe it's about a hundred or so pounds. That's what I'm thinking. We leave tomorrow. So this metal is coming with us to our new spot. So it gets to be scrapped at a different scrapyard. That's crazy. That's new, but I'm super excited. If y'all have made it this far, drop travel down in the comments because next time I see y'all, we're going to be in a different place. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. See y'all in the next one. Bye!